The overturning of Roe v. Wade has sparked many debates because let's be honest, abortion is complicated. Recently, anti-abortion groups have been pushing for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to pull its two-decade-old approval of the abortion pill, which accounts for more than half of pregnancy terminations in the United States. So what exactly is an abortion pill? Well, medication abortion is a safe and effective way to end an early pregnancy before 11 weeks, and it allows people to have an abortion in the privacy and comfort of their own home. The FDA has even ruled that the two abortion medications are safe enough to be administered through a telemedicine appointment rather than in person, and that the pills can be delivered by mail. Reproductive rights advocates have lawsuits in North Carolina and West Virginia that want to make sure that these drugs remain easily available to people who need them. But at the same time, a Texas case filed by abortion opponents claims that the FDA erred in approving the abortion medications more than two decades ago. This case could be decided as early as mid-February. The outcome of these lawsuits will settle the question on whether states can regulate and restrict drugs that have been approved by the FDA, even in states where abortion is currently legal under law. As Rachel Maddow always tells us, watch this space.